Hello chess friends and welcome to you out of chess channel and welcome to another spectacular gameplay by the latest version of Stockfish, the Palfish Stockfish 16. Today we see the fish battling it out against another top engine, the Lizard, in a crazy London system with the white pieces uh, and today we see again the Stockfish engine playing really one of the most popular openings now these days I think uh, the London system is working in any level of chess, beginners level, intermediate level, professional level, everyone used I think sometimes. Uh, the london system and i think again also this game is very spectacular because it has so many cool traps cool opening ideas cool uh, middle game tactics really one of the greatest london systems and i've seen in my life so let's dive now into the game with the white pieces the fish open with move d4 we have d5 by the lizard and now knight you have three knight you have six bishop you have four we have now the london system on the board b6 uh trying of course to occupy with bishop to b7 and knight to e4 the e4 square in a good way here from black's perspective e3 normal development bishop to b7 knight from b2 d2 and now after move e6 we have knight to e5 stockfish immediately occupies the center of the board bishop to d6 competing against this piece here and now bishop to d3 the usual london system setup so what we're trying to do is of course in some lines after potential casting and bishop takes maybe e5 d takes e5 to deflect then uh, the knight from the defense of the king and then you could storm with many pieces maybe with uh, with the dark school bishop with the light school bishop with the queen maybe also include the uh, knight into the game maybe also launch a flank attack but usually you're trying to attack this side of the board by using all of your pieces on this side of the board what should now black do for instance if you try knight to e4 if you try to cement your positions also here on white side of the board then there is a, a very interesting line with queen to g4 and actually white should be much much better here although you can maybe try queen to f6 uh, to compete here and then there is this problem knight takes uh, e4 d takes e4 look at this in some lines you can lose the game maybe immediately look at the bishop to v5 you're trying to cover knight takes e6 takes takes and now maybe this one um black lost too much uh, pawns here i think not a good continuation anymore here for black so this one line of course white and black don't need uh, to play the game like this but knight to e4 from black's perspective that's what i'm pointing out here is simply too rushed uh here for black uh, from bishop to d3 we have now uh, knight from uh, f to d7 competing against this knight on e5 in a different way keeping still the options after potential bishop to b5 to play here the move c6 then the knight is covering uh, the c6 square we have now queen to g4 and actually uh when i watch now the database we're watching we're following here an amazing game by vidit santos gurati against shakir mamejarov in which believe me or not actually mamejarov won uh, the game with the black pieces in the exact same position so i think a playable line also here for black although uh, white has obviously a much much better piece activity we have now the move g6 uh, h uh, knight of three in the game played by vidit mamejarov h4 was played by vidit santos girati we have now knight to f3 and actually this becomes now a theoretical novelty a completely new no, new position um, new position that i simply see don't see anymore here in the database we have now queen to e7 here uh, lizard i think plays an interesting line uh, because lizard of course knows that uh, uh, we should not castle anymore here king side uh, because there's simply too much peace activity on this side of the board if you castle king side then you're rushing basically into white's attack so the lizard is preparing here a slow build up maybe with the knight somewhere maybe developing and then also to finally castle queen side and get out of this potential mess here, here we have h4 anyway by the fish stock which is saying okay i have already attacked the king side now i basically cannot change the direction of the attack i should not do something there because there's simply no peace support here knight to f6 by lizard attacking the queen we have uh, queen to h3 and now knight to e4 now finally lizard also occupies uh here the center of the board and now stockfish plays a very very interesting line i thought here in this particular position stockfish could maybe try to protect this pawn and then maybe castle queen so then also maybe uh continue here the pressure but actually stockfish although has pushed now the pawn on h4 although stockfish 
uh, weakened somehow uh, the pawn structure in front of the king actually castled king side and this is really, really interesting now the position is so imbalanced the position has so many tactical opportunities for both sides and the cool part is that we still have all of the pieces on on the board so now really who is better in tactics i think simply should win the game we have now f6 here um a lizard kicks away the knight but stockfish plays now a beautiful amazing spectacular counterattack with the rogue from a to d1 interesting interesting stuff so what's the issue why cannot blake uh, black take here uh the knight on e5 if you take f takes e5 then d takes e5 comes with the tempo you have to step back with the bishop now we pick up the knight and after something like uh, d takes e4 notice now that the d file is open really cr crazy tactic now we can attack the queen and the issue is the queen doesn't have good squares for instance if you try here queen to f7 then you get checkmated immediately with rook to d8 if you play here queen uh, queen to g7 then you're okay you still have this escape score uh, for the king but now uh, the queen is not covering anymore the e6 pawn now after queen to e6 you can cover and now bishop to f6 obviously here seem completely wins the game here for uh for white so that's why after rook from a to d1 lizard didn't take of course the knight played now knight to c6 now we have knight takes c6 bishop to c6 and now c4 and that's really i would say also beautiful move here by stockfish stockfish actually changes now the direction of the attack because in the beginning stockfish launched a king side flank attack now also sort of a queen side attack because stockfish knows that lizard could of course uh, somehow castle queens and that's why stockfish is trying to open the c file maybe put more pressure here at least to provoke some weaknesses in front of black's king if black of course castles queen side and here we have bishop to f4 what or maybe d takes c4 could have been played but it again leads into a very complicated line for for black because of a bishop to c4 bishop takes f4 e takes f4 okay you have provoked maybe here uh a messed up pawn structure for white and you could maybe compete here with bishop to d5 but the issue is that actually you will get destroyed uh, on the c file you may be trying now c6 now we can also play rook to e1 there is also this tension there is also this tension so white's rooks are too powerful in this particular position now probably you will castle on king side and now after something like h5 g5 we pick up this one uh the rook continues the attacking flow you're trying to defend but uh in my opinion here it's simply too too dangerous around the square e6 we can also play now rook from uh, e to c1 occupying now the c file till the end occupied and also the seventh rank maybe do something here maybe uh as i said create also damage h6 maybe queen to h5 too many options again here for white although it would be maybe a playable line after d takes c4 but after c4 uh here uh lizard took now the bishop on f4 we have e takes f4 and now lizard played finally this idea played now queen side casting now stockfish plays an amazing c5 this is the way to go great move although you can take of course but again it provokes too many weaknesses would we take take and then uh probably you get simply destroyed again by the activity maybe the rooks can be included into the game also uh maybe the rook on the e file targeting still the e6 square so again a quite unpleasant i would say here uh, again position uh for for black i remove c5 that's why king to b8 lizard improves now simply the position of the king b4 supporting now the c5 pawn and now h6 and now lizard also says okay Okay, I'm searching for control play on the king side because the queen is also lined up on the h file. So lizard obviously is with the move g5 trying to open the h file and uh, put more pressure here. Maybe also include this other rook into the game. Maybe also uh, put more pressure on the g file. Interesting, interesting, really opposite side attack game. We have now rook from f to e1, g5, and now an amazing move here by the fish knight to d2 this knight is basically the best piece on the board of black so that's why uh stockfish is trying to get rid of it what should you do if you support it look how crazy the stockfish tactics are if you support the, uh, the knight on e4 with the move f5 which in the beginning seemed to me like a logical idea then you get this one you play knight to f3 you allow g4 and now you play knight to e5 uh, if of course the uh, uh, g takes h3 happens then we have knight takes c6 the fork we pick up the piece and it's game over here for black black lost the piece in this tactical sequence uh can resign after a couple more moves or maybe uh, after move knight to d2 what 
um, here um, Lizard could have played this maybe Knight takes d2 but now after Rook takes e6 look at this as I said also in the middle of this video uh, the position could really collapse uh, somewhere around the square e6 then you try maybe knight to f3 to provoke some weaknesses then we get this rook into the game uh, the bishop is still blocked out there are some options maybe with uh, b5 c6 and similar stuff the rook is in danger the queen is coming into the game uh, the king is actually not so so dangerous here for because we can still hide maybe a 2 h2 but uh, i think in this uh, in this position white should be again much 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 better so after knight to d2 that's why bishop Bishop to a4, uh, counterattack by Lizard, trying to um, do something here, trying of course to deflect the rook from the defense of the knight, but now Stockfish plays knight takes e4 anyway, after d takes e4, bishop to e4, Stockfish grabs the pawn, forces basically the move bishop to d1, but now rook takes d1, leads now into this position where uh, black is facing now too, too many light square problems all over the board, the queen could be included into the game, uh, of course delivering some checkmates here especially around the square b7 we have queen to e8 trying to do the move c6 here but stockfish plays now beautiful queen to b3 and if you play now c6 immediately then the issues will simply attack uh, you're trying maybe to defend this and now you just open the position you just uh, let this uh, pawns uh, pawns explode in front of uh, black's king and again i would say game over here for black you could maybe try here to play the move b5 immediately but then the queen is coming into into the game in a spectacular way then you're trying this look at this a4 in one moment the b file will be opened it's almost like in this position it's almost like black is playing without the whole rook now uh, till the end of the game so it's also not working so after queen to b3 that's why rook to f8 we have b5 rook to d5 trying to give up now finally the rook back in order to uh, somehow simplify the game here but stockfish is keeping it calm plays now to move a4 uh, we have g takes uh, h4 again maybe trying somehow to open a position here but it's again a little bit too slow a5 queen to d8 now stockfish took now stockfish took again in Africa queen to b6 finally now uh, bishop takes d5 e takes uh, d5 and queen to d5 leads now into this end game where stockfish has a one plus uh, situation where stockfish has of course this dangerous pass pawn on uh, on the d file and also uh, what's worth to mention i would say that black skin is much much more in danger than white skin white white can always escape here and uh, has a perfect situation on this side of the board so we have now rook to d8 queen to e4 uh, you cannot take of course the pawn because of rook to b1 uh, loses the queen so that's why queen to c7 stockfish simply pushes the d pawn we have rook to d6 and now pushing also this one h3 g3 passing through here stockfish doesn't want to complicate things any uh, on the g file is keeping now the solid structure in front of the king we have a rook to d7 stockfish goes further with the king plays now queen to f4 pins now the rook to the queen we have queen to c5 and now king to h3 king to b7 uh, that that's the must move sort of here for um uh, for for lizard because you cannot take the pawn because of uh, the queen's activity king to b7 stockfish goes with the uh with the king further we have king to a8 g4 doing also something on this side of the board we have now queen to b6 stockfish goes further with the king includes now the rook into the game we have now queen to f7 if you play here rook to d5 again you lose you lose the queen so here we have queen to f7 first a check and after king to h4 queen to d5 and queen to e4 in this particular position uh the lizard engine resigned so what's the issue if you trade it off of course here i think we can agree this is completely completely winning we will have we'll grab this pawn and then have um three versus one situation on this side of the board so nothing can be done anymore here uh for the lizard so amazing amazing game in the london system by the fish uh, with the white pieces i think this was quite instructive especially um, this tactical sequence i think uh, was very very interesting after move f6 that um, that uh, lizard played here uh, rook to d1 uh, this was very very hard to see hard to uh, notice this possible tactics all over the board so again cool tactics great opening theory great changing of the direction of the attack on on both of the uh, both sides of the board uh endangered king positions we have seen bad bishop strategies the bad bishop didn't play such an important role in in black's position so great great stuff again by stockfish 16 so 
Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this game. I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, interesting stuff in the popular London system. If you want to see some other uh, beautiful, really sharp tactical game, uh, games like this, uh, check out our Comet Chess Games Payback Computer Series. And if you want to study the London system from the beginning, check out my London system series. Here's also the link. And if you like this content, hit the subscribe button. See you soon with some more videos. And what do we say in the end? Chess is the best, of course.